That's crazy. Had my cactus grow light on. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Tuna Things. My name is Steve. I really appreciate you being here, so thank you very much. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys are working on. I always appreciate the updates on your projects and everything, so yeah, let me know what you're working on. So I stole the relay from my 1999 D16 Y8 Turbo Civic uh, for my Odyssey when I was troubleshooting it. So, whoops. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this back in. Holy crap. that put that back on I'm just gonna tuck it back up in there boom good to go I know that's not the most ethical way of going about it but you know she got her in there so so we have this ECU down here and we got my wide band up there and the next step is to wire up the wide band to the ECU. So currently the ECU is not reading from the secondary O2 sensor because there is none. Uh, my exhaust cuts out right after the turbo. So I'm gonna wire my AEM wideband O2 sensor to port D14, I believe it is. And um, then I'm gonna use that to tune my car. So most of you know I'm moving. I have to have a little bit of a tune so that I can drive my car to the new location uh, the house closed today, so big f***ing ups, yes. Uh, I'm super proud. Um, we actually got the house, it's closed, it's a done deal. And we should be moving in with the next two weeks. Um, just gotta make sure the money's right to get everything moved. And yeah, super hyped about that. So I wanna get the tune right and ready. Honestly, if anybody wants to help me with the tune, that would be great. Um, you know, I can either do Honda Tuny Suite or Chrome, so. Yeah, hit me up if you want to help with that. I just, I want to do it myself, but like I really could use somebody else's help, somebody professional, so. So the next step is wiring up the O2 sensor to the ECU. So I'm gonna take the O2 sensor down, grab the wire, feed it through to the ECU, and plug it to D14. So that should be what we do now. All right, let's go. So you guys are probably wondering why I have all these multicolored wires. Um, I don't have anything similar to this gauge wire that's on the AEM Yugo. Uh, I have like 12 gauge wire and that's just not going to cut it. So I had made this multicultural wire here. Uh, I cut apart a power cord, which should do just fine. You know, we have blue to red. that 
that's fine. As you've seen, the solders are okay. Green to red, this should go to the ECU. This should be just fine to output to the ECU. I just didn't want to use too big of a wire and waste that. So I'm going to strip the end of this one and get this soldered onto the end of the AEM Yugo and feed it through and get it connected to the ECU. Ugh. Sweating my ass off. All right, I know I shouldn't be sweating that much, but God, it's hot. Uh, yeah, I got the wire soldered up. I know that was kind of janky because I don't have enough wire. I had to solder three wires together, so kind of janky, but it's across to the ECU. Got it zip tied up. Now I'm gonna cut into D14 and put that into the ECU, but I'm gonna use a butt connector. That way I can just connect D14 back up if I want to use the stock O2 sensor again. So, so yeah, guys, if you have made it this far, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Uh, hit the like button if you want or dislike if you feel like you've disliked it for some reason at this point. And let me know in the comment section below what you guys are working on. I really do appreciate when you do that. I like to keep up with what you guys are doing. Um, just kind of gives me motivation and uh, you guys are really skilled. So, hell yeah. It is 1119. We've got the wire tied up with zip ties, ready to feed through. I had to unfeed it and zip tie it up, but I'm gonna tie it into D14 over there with the ECU. I'm gonna push my car out to the back and uh, start it up. That neighbor won't mind because he's a meth chef and that guy won't mind because he's his customer. So, yeah. My wife, however, will mind if I start it up in the garage. So I'm going to back it out and we'll see what happens on the laptop. Hopefully I get a reading. Let's get to it. I'm gonna connect the ECU to the O2 sensor and get to cracking. Okay, back out fresh on the sink, 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 franchise best on the team, franchise best on the team, franchise best on the team, franchise best on the team. Alrighty, so I got the ECU pin to D14. Hopefully, that's the right one. Um, had a little bit of extra here, so I took care of that. Got my laptop. All right, so let's push this car into the darkness. We gotta fix that turbo leak. All right, push it up. All right, just gonna get her started without the reverberation. There's the keys down there. Grab those. Wait for this laptop to start up. Oh shit, we're doing something weird here. So I had to go grab the charger from the Integra. Nope. Neutral. Ready? Here we go. I know it's late. 
All right, so I don't understand uh, where in Chrome I'm supposed to be able to see real-time data. So I'm going to try and create a Honda Tuning Suite base map. So we'll see what I can do with this. I'll check in with you guys in a second. All right, so I got the <laughs> wired up. I'm idling at an okay AFR. I mean, it could be like, whoa there. It could be a little bit more lean, but like, how do I get it to read in Chrome? Also, I can't get it to start in Honda Tuning Suite even with the same parameters. So, if you could help me out in Honda Tuning Suite, that would be great. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Yeah, I would really appreciate it if you could help me out in Honda Tuning Suite and uh, or Chrome. How am I supposed to get these live readings? At least for the O2, because like, look, in here, view, boost in PSI, but like, it's not showing me shit, man. So, let me know what I'm doing wrong, because there's something I'm doing wrong here. You guys are pros at all this, and uh, so how can I get to read where it's air fuel ratio in Chrome? And or can you help me in Honda Tuning Suite? Because like I can't get it even to start in Honda Tuning Suite. It just doesn't give it enough juice or something. I don't know. Please help me. So basically where I am right now is that I have the AEM wide band um, white wire output signal wired to D14, which is what it tells me to wire it to on Chrome. Also, Honda Tuning Suite has that for the default. So I've got that wired. I do have the ground wire to a regular nut. I'm not sure if whether that needs to be to the ground on the ECU or not. Um, yeah, so I could really use some help if somebody wants to help me out with a base map and or a tune for Honda Tuning Suite. That would be fucking awesome. Also, if you guys have any suggestions on how to get my AEM wideband gauge to actually even come up on Chrome Pro or Honda Tuning Suite, that would be great. Um, I don't even know where in Chrome Pro it would be to load the the uh, live map. I tried loading it up. I just, there's no setting for it. Um, but yeah, in Honda Tuning Suite, I managed to get the car started, but it still would not show the wideband O2 readings. So um, yeah, if you guys could let me know what you think I should do, that would be great. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. All right, guys. Peace out, Cub Scouts.